Sunny day, so many things to see and do. The grass so green and the sky so blue. Climb up high, jump up and down, turn around on the merry-go-round. We've got so much time to spend, to learn, explore, to build and pretend. It's so much fun to use our imagination. As long as we have the proper hydration. And plus, the sandbox is a great location, and playing gives us a solid foundation. The count of ten. It's great to play with all your best friends. Come on in, take off your shoes and socks. It's time for fun in the sandbox. Hi, Earl. How you doing today? Oh, hi, guys. Remember that toy car I was playing with last time? That was a really fun toy. It went so fast. The colors and design were really unusual and special. Where is that car? I'd love to play with it with you. Did you bring it today? Yup. Here it is. Earl, what happened to your car? Did it have an accident? No, it wasn't an accident. Really? Someone did that on purpose? Yeah, someone did. And that someone was me. I was doing one of the things Tinker is always doing. An experiment? Yeah, an experiment. But then the car broke. I'm so sorry, Earl. Are you sad about what happened to Earl, Dean? No, I was just thinking that my feet smell like corn chips. Oh. Huh. You know, Earl, uh, sometimes I do an experiment, too. I say, what would it feel like not to have a shell? So I turn upside down and pretend I don't have a shell. Then I realize I look kind of like a baby. So I start talking like a baby. And then I think, what was the point of that? Now I only know what it's like to be a baby without a shell. And then I... So, um, uh, anyone have any ideas for a different experiment? Anybody? Tinker, maybe? You like experiments, as I recall. Actually, yes. While you were doing that, I had an idea. What if we took those wheels from Earl's toy, this crate, and our bodies, and tried to see how many different vehicle ideas we could come up with? That sounds fun. How would we do it? I don't know. Maybe we could take these two wheels like so. That's so creative. Oh, that's one heck of a train, Tinker. A train! Now I see it. My turn. Okay. It's one wheel. One wheel, good. Anybody else? <laughs> see if this helps. Wheel. Unicycle. You're so good with words, Zen. It's a unicycle. Oh, now I see it. My turn. Check this out. Goodbye, my friends. You all look like ants. What's he doing? I'm not sure. What a beautiful town! Whoa, what a, what a beautiful country! Oh my, there's a cloud in my eye! Neptune, where'd you get that hot air balloon? Oh, oh it's, it's a, a hot, hot air, air balloon! balloon. Have, Have a seat here, Neptune. Neptune! My turn! I'm gonna go visit Neptune up in the sky. You wanna make a hot air balloon too? No, I have a faster way. Going up! An elevator! Bye, cow! I have one more great idea for what to do with Earl's wheel. I made a car! Oh, hey, you put my car back together. Thanks, Tinker. I love you tons. 
Aww. Did Tinker's act of friendship make you want to cry, Dean? No, it's just my feet really smell like corn chips. But let's keep playing. Pretend I am a pirate finding treasure in a cave Or a circus lion tamer, very strong and very brave I'm a great explorer flying high in a balloon I'm an awesome astronaut who's landed on the moon Let your mind be free, let the pictures flow To a hidden place that's only yours to know what a way to spend the day Just imagining in my mind That's when we pretend to be Anything that we design Imagination Is the name of the game Imagination Tapping into my mainframe Imagination Leave all our troubles far behind Imagination All my thoughts are unconfined Pretend I am a dancer dancing up on a big stage Or a firefighter putting out a giant blaze And I'm a funny jokester making people laugh out loud I'm a superhero making myself proud Let your mind be free, let the pictures flow To a hidden place that's only yours to know What a way to spend the day just imagining in my mind That's when we pretend to be Anything that we design Imagination Is the name of the game Imagination Tapping into my mainframe Imagination Leave all your troubles far behind Imagination All my thoughts are unconfined Yay! Stay It's a funny, sunny day. So many things to see and do. The grass so green and the sky so blue. Climb up high, jump up and down. Turn around on the merry-go-round. We've got so much time to spend. To learn, explore, to build, and pretend. It's so much fun to use our imagination. As long as we have the proper hydration. And plus, the sandbox is a great location. And playing gives us a solid foundation. So run and hide. On the count of ten, it's great to play with all your best friends. Come on in, take off your shoes and socks. It's time for fun in the sandbox. And you are dead. Did I do that with my ultra strong tagging skills? I don't think so. Look. Whoa! Now that's making me a little nervous. Breathe in deep and count to three. One, two, three. Now breathe out. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> that's better. Don't worry, Dean. Every storm passes. I actually kind of like the rumbling of thunder. Me too. But it's not my favorite part. Oh, what's your favorite part? Hey, guys! Hi, Opus! Everyone all right up here? I'm hearing a bit of a ruckus down below. That's thunder, Opus. And from the dark clouds, it seems like a storm is coming. Even underwater, when a storm is coming, it's important to find some shelter. Just what I was thinking. So this is what we'll do. See those empty crates? We can use all those to construct a temporary shelter. Or maybe we can just run under there. Good idea. Let's go. Run! See you on the other side of the storm. Good luck, my friends. Zen, are you okay? Are you kidding? I love dancing in the rain, but it's not my favorite part. What is your favorite? <gasps> hey, <laughs> anyone else feel something? Not me. Well, uh, yes, me. Oh, ow. Ooh. Balls of ice! Let's get under there. That's some hard rain. And that's coming from a guy with a shell. When little balls of ice fall from the sky, I don't think it's called rain. It's called hail. How do you know about hail, Dean? 
My family comes from the mountains in Banff, Canada. If it's cold and it's falling out of the sky, I know what it's called. The hail's getting harder. Wait a second. I don't understand. Ice is falling from the sky in the middle of springtime? How does that even work? That's such a good question. And the answer is, it's actually way too warm for ice to be falling right now. But ice is falling right now, Cal. So here's my riddle. How can a cloud make a small ball of ice in the warm weather? Start with a big ball of ice. I <laughs> get it? <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> Anybody? No. Not at all. Not my taste joke-wise. OK, that's fine. Even when it's hot here on the ground, up in the clouds, it's always really cold. So in a thunderstorm, the rain freezes in the clouds. On the way down, the frozen rain melts and lands on us. That's hail. I get it. Start with a big ball of ice because it's big in the cloud and small on the ground. This girl gets it. Hey, look, it's clearing up. Hmm, the air is so fresh after a rainstorm. Ah. Oh, so that's your favorite part. Not quite. So, so what, what is, is your favorite, favorite part? part? My favorite part is when the sun shines through the water droplets in the air and bends the light coming through into something so magical and so beautiful. Zen, you're talking about a... A rainbow. rainbow! After the rain, there's always a rainbow waiting for you. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Whoa! That's radical! That's beautiful! And that's my favorite part, too! It's like a kaleidoscope! Or, um, like Cal's body! He's right. You are a rainbow, Cal. No wonder I love seeing you every day. Thanks, Zen. Let's go play! Sunny day, so many things to see and do. The grass so green and the sky so blue. Climb up high, jump up and down, turn around on the merry-go-round. You've got so much time to spend to learn, explore, to build, and pretend. It's so much fun to use our imagination. 
station. As long as we have the proper hydration. Push the sandbox is a great location. And playing gives us a solid foundation. So, run and hide on the count of ten. It's great to play with all your best friends. Come on in, take off your shoes and socks. It's time for fun in the sandbox. <laughs> Guys, I have an important announcement to make. What is it, Neptune? And now for the announcement. I am no longer the Neptune you know and love. You finally started to appreciate naps? Aren't they the best? No, I still don't like naps. You're not going to be incredibly friendly and kind anymore like we're used to? Still going to be friendly and kind. You're going to move out of the ocean into a swanky hotel? OK, fine. I'm the same Neptune. But from now on, I eat only cupcakes. The only snack you're going to have from now on is cupcakes? The only food of any kind I'm going to eat from now on ever is cupcakes. Why, Neptune? Well, because they're the perfect food. They're delicious. They're yummy. We eat them during birthdays and celebrations. And I like celebrating. There are many different possible colors. And they're so easy to eat. Mm -mm. Apples are many different colors. Red, yellow, and green. I never heard of a happy birthday apple. Apples are easy to eat. Well, with a cupcake, all you have to do is take off the wrapper. With an apple, you can even eat the peel. But I don't like the peel. So you can take it off. Not as easily as with a cupcake. Nah, it's a cupcake life for me. Don't you think you'll get tired of just eating cupcakes? Nope. Neptune, maybe one way to think about your new plan is, did you ever eat more than one cupcake in a day? Yes, on my last birthday party, I had four cupcakes. Good, so how did you like that? My stomach really hurt. My teeth felt hairy. I had sticky frosting all over my flippers, and three of those smush cupcake holders got stuck under my shell. But you still want to eat only cupcakes. I have made my decision, and you cannot convince me otherwise. You know, I like cupcakes too, Neptune, but I heard it's actually important to eat a lot of different kinds of foods. Why's that? Well, different foods have different nutrients that help the body grow and work the best way it can. How do you know all that? Because I love food. I love it so much, my mom got me this special plate. It's called My Plate. It's got different sections with different colors for the types of food that are helpful to eat. How many cupcakes could you fit on there? And don't try to fake me out. Maybe five if you squish them. But see how this green section is the biggest? That's actually for vegetables. What kind of vegetables? It can be any kind of vegetables you want. Raw green vegetables are my favorite, like cucumbers and peppers and lettuce. Oh, I did like cucumbers. But I also like orange and red vegetables, like squash, carrots, and sweet potatoes. The red section is for fruits. Fruits also have vitamins and minerals and also fiber, which helps us digest our food. What kind of fruits are good to eat? Almost every kind. Different kind of fruits have different vitamins in them. Does mango count? I don't see why not. Mm, I used to love mango before my cupcake phase. What's that orange section for? Tiger food? Well, that depends if tigers like grains, whole wheat bread, brown rice, and oatmeal. Yeah, I like a nice piece of whole grain toast. Well, oatmeal's actually not bad. I mean, it wasn't bad for the old me. And what's the purple section for? That's for high-protein foods, like beans, meat, peas, eggs, nuts, and seeds. They help build the body and its tissue. Okay, that's all really great, but I have yet to hear a section for cupcakes. And that, Neptune, is where this little blue plate comes in. Oh, that's the cupcake plate? Well, sort of. It's for anything you'd like to eat along with your meal. It could be a glass of chocolate milk, or in your case, maybe a cupcake. My mom says a little sugar now and then is A-OK. -okay. okay, everybody, snack time is almost over. OK, but first, I have an important announcement. I will no longer be eating only cupcakes. Are you sure? Cupcakes are great. Uh-uh, I've made my decision. And you cannot convince me otherwise. Race you to the side. Right, 
so I eat right. When I eat right, I grow high, so I eat right. When I eat right, I sleep tight, so I eat right. When I eat right, I give all my might, so I eat right. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. I love eating all these rainbow foods, and what's so great about that? Fruits and roots, nuts and seeds, they bring good moods. So many reasons to eat them, which include a time for chit chat. When I eat right, I feel bright, so I eat right. When I eat right, I grow height, so I eat. Right. When I eat right, I sleep tight, so I eat right. When I eat right, I give all my might, so I eat right. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. It's a delight, lie, 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 lie. It's a delight.
it's a funny sunny day so many things to see and do the grass so green and the sky so blue climb up high jump up and down turn around on the merry-go-round you've got so much time to spend to learn explore to build and pretend it's so much fun to use our imagination as long as we have the proper hydration push the sea box is a great location and playing gives us a solid foundation the count of ten it's great to play with all your best friends come on in take off your shoes and socks it's time for fun in the sandbox everyone. Great food, great music, and all my best friends. And great food. Um, I said great food. You said it. Mmm. But I'm living it. Okay, before we go home, we have to remember to clean up. That way it's just as fun for the next kids as it was for us. You're right, Neptune. But how do we do that? First thing, we have to check around the whole sandbox and everywhere we played. Let's not forget a single place. The more we look, the more we find, and the cleaner will keep our precious sandbox. Maybe I can help. What do you mean? I call it motivational drumming. I like it, Opus. I tip my hat to you, but I was only blessed with eight arms. Should we throw all this stuff in the garbage now? Wait, Tink, not quite yet. Why? Throwing everything away will clean up the sandbox. But if we're extra careful, we'll help the environment on land. And the environment in the ocean. What do you mean, Opus? How can throwing things in the garbage on land help keep the ocean clean? Garbage that isn't cleaned up can wash into gutters and drain out to the ocean. It can harm lots of my friends in the sea. And mine, too. I don't know if they're getting it. Okay, then let's help them out. The ocean's got almost all of the Earth's water. You never learned that about the ocean? Well, you oughta. Yes? Did you need something? Oh, uh, sorry. I said oughta, not otter. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. When it's clean. Does it give us air, medicine, food, and fun? Yeah! Yes. A, a lot! Lotta. Oh, how may I be of service? Oh, sorry. We said lotta, not otta. I see. <laughs> but when garbage leaks into the ocean, it can tangle up sea life and pollute the water. We said water at that time. I thought it was pretty clear. I heard you. I just want to watch what you guys were up to. It sounds really both important and entertaining. And I otter know. Okay, that time you definitely said otter. Hey, that was you. <sighs> Making sure we take care of trash properly and protect the ocean does sound really important. Like that marine mammal guy said. But how do we do it? It's easy if we work together first. Anything that we can reuse, we put aside and take home. Because the best way to take care of trash is not to make any trash. I can use these bottles for a sculpture I'm making. Don't throw it away when you can still play. <laughs> I'll use these boxes and cans for a robot. That's very creative, Zen and Tinker. Well, what about the rest of this stuff? Okay, now, see those three bins over there? Anything for the earth, like sticks, leaves, fruit rinds, and peels goes into the green bin. Why the green bin? Well, because things that come from the earth can be composted. That means they can be put back in the earth, where they'll become part of the soil and help new plants grow. Uh, Dean, what are you doing? What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. Opus? Hey, that 
That's the composting bin, isn't it? Oh, well, let's get cleaning. Now, everything that can be recycled goes into the blue bins. What's recycled? Anything made of glass, paper, plastic, different types of metal can be melted down and used again. So we don't use up the Earth's precious resources. Uh, and finally, whatever garbage is left, we put into the black bins. I'm so proud of all of you. You really left the sandbox even cleaner than when you found it. Everything is all cleaned up. Mm. Uh, great job, everybody. Dean. Oh, Dean. What? Just doing my part to help the park look great. One, two, and a one, two, three, four. Utterly awesome. Okay, we agree that this time you definitely set it. Look around and tell me what you see. A little trash over by that tree. Let's head over and grab it fast. You know sometimes cleanup can be a blast. Find a wrapper over by the swing. Clean it up so you don't find it while you're snorkeling. We can clean it up. It's our responsibility. We can clean it up. If we clean the land, we clean the sea. We can clean it up. Grab neighbors, friends, and family. We can clean it up. It's not as hard as it may seem. See someone throw some trash on the ground. No need to wait for them to come on back around. It doesn't really matter if it's yours. All of us on earth really love our outdoors. And if we all do the best that we can and clean it up, then we're caring for our lovely land. That's right. We can clean it up. It's our responsibility. We can clean it up. If we clean the land, we clean the sea. We can clean it up. Grab neighbors, friends, and family. We can clean it up. It's not as hard as it may seem.
Water in the ocean. Ocean.
Water at the beach. Water in rivers and lakes. <laughs> river. 
Rivers. and raindrops and puddles. Raindrops and puddles.
Water is all around us. Spring. Thank you. 
spring. Spring turns to summer. <laughs> summer. Summer.
summer. Summer turns to fall.
か。Fall turns to winter. Winter. Winter.
winter. Thank you. 